Users enter the data platform through a link on our login page. We have over 85 million rows of monthly well production data in this Power BI report. Here on the summary page, we're looking at 213,000 horizontal wells summarized in the table above and over time in the visuals below. Each page has a map we size by a meaningful metric. It's all interactive, so you can click on EOG on the map and quickly see in the table the areas they are most active. I'll click on Delaware Subbasin instead, and we can see that oil production was 2.6 million barrels per day recently, and that October is the most recent full month. On the left, we can see production is increasing, and we can go to these other two pages for details. In the middle, we can see that in 2022, we had 215 new wells per month, with lateral lengths that averaged 9,000 feet, and initial production rates that averaged 1145 barrels per day, and 3529 MCF per day of gas. That's a lot of really big wells. Wells decline quickly as they get older, so analyzing by production month is also important. Let's look at monthly production first. We have oil selected and can quickly compare subbasins against each other. And there's the Delaware, looking like a superstar. All page ones are for comparing states, counties, and operators also. Count wells, gas production, water production, gas oil ratio, and more with simple navigation. We have the water oil ratio selected and let's set a filter to just oil wells. Delaware pops off the chart again, but this time it's bad because water disposal fees will someday outpace revenue. This visual by well start year is great for seeing how wells get more watery over time. The market movers table is great for finding sub-basins that changed the most lately. You can sort by column header, and you can even arrow down for operator, county, basin, and more. We're on the monthly prod 2 page now, and let's clear any changes we made with this reset to default button. That cleared our well type filter and changed our product back to oil. Being able to interact between these three rows of visuals speeds up analysis big time. And then to set a filter and go to other pages? That just makes life too easy. The initial prod pages help users analyze well starts, initial production rates, lateral length, vertical depth, and even IP per 1000 lateral foot. The production by age pages are for analyzing production curves for these seven metrics. Plus, you can flip it over to cumulative production for additional analysis. You can click on a visual and adjust the top five filter how you like, and can even export the data to Excel. You can even export it to PowerPoint or PDF. Track trends and get answers from well production data, forecast scenarios, and permits, rigs, and ducks. Reach out for a demo or free trial today.